Welcome back. This is Defender Fabrication. My name's Scott, and today we are going to replace the tires on my 14 inch jet bandsaw. We had a failure of the original rubber tires. You can see that um, they were in uh, quite sad shape. Uh, we're going to replace both the drive and the driven wheel. The, uh, the one, the, the drive wheel was actually still intact, but if you uh, put a little tension on it, you can see some of the, the cracking. So this was inevitable that it was going to fail. Now what we've done is we've purchased two polyurethane tires from polybelt.com. I do not have a connection with these people. I paid them the 30 some odd dollars for the, uh, the, the two tires with uh, shipping. And it came with these instructions and it came with an installation tool. So what we're going to do is follow these instructions. Now I was tempted to try to install these tires without pulling the wheels off the bandsaw. But I believe smart money would be to do like I've done and remove these wheels. They're very easy to remove. The only thing that I'll tell you is that the drive wheel, the bolt is reverse thread. So to save you doing what I did, which was to actually drive the bolt in and put a nice bevel on the, uh, the, the washer that I'm gonna have to straighten out before we reinstall these wheels, um, this one is left-hand thread. The top one's right-hand thread, but it comes right off. These things are not a press fit. They slip right off, so easy enough to do. Now, what I've done is I've clamped, per their instructions, I've clamped the first wheel to the bench, and I've clamped it within the web. If you can see here, uh, the, the, uh, the vice grip clamp is inside. That way, I do not have to remove the clamp to start the tire on. Now what we're going to do, because the instructions indicate that these tires need to be heated up to 120 degrees, and I'm not real sure how to do that, and I'm, I'm reasonably certain that these polyurethane tires will withstand 212 degrees, I'm going to use this Pyrex dish, and I'm going to fill it about three quarters of the way with water, and we're going to boil this water. We're going to pull this out of the microwave, we're going to stick, we're going to put the bandsaw tire in there, and let it set for five minutes and soak just as the instructions indicate to do. Now one of the other things that the instructions indicate is to use a little bit of soap to lubricate the, uh, the, the, the tire. So we're going to use a little bit of dishwashing soap. We're actually going to pre-lube the tire before we stick it into the water. That way if we boil the water we're not going to create a bunch of suds. So when I get back, we're going to stop the film and I'm going to heat the water up. When I get back, we'll have preheated the tire and we'll, uh, we'll see how, how it installs. So I'll be right back. We're back and have soaked the, the bandsaw tire now for better than five minutes. The water temperature, the temperature of the container is 142 degrees. So we're above that 120. We're going to go ahead and pull this thing out and uh, see what it takes to get it installed. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do the other one. We're back for number two, and we've got the temperature at this point at about 148. 
a little bit hotter. We put it back in the microwave for about five more minutes to get the temperature back up and it, it cooled off. Let's uh, go ahead and see if we can't do number two here. Parting thoughts, on a scale of one to 10, I would rate the difficulty at somewhere around a two or three. If you're apprehensive about trying this yourself, don't be. The second tip would be, you probably noticed that when I first installed the tire, I started to go far, farther away and come towards me, which seemed natural, but this clamp got in the way. And of course, I'm really kind of limited on where I can put this clamp because of I'm working from the corner of the bench. So, as you saw, I switched it up and started from here and went around and it really wasn't tough at all. Uh, the other tip, the soap. I installed soap on the tire before I installed it in the water and the fear was that I was going to boil the water and it was going to create a bunch of suds. As it turns out, I watched the microwave for 13 minutes and got that water up to 180 degrees. Uh, I had not thought about using the infrared thermometer until I started. Uh, so the whole boiling water soap such thing was uh, was not something that uh, really needed to be worried about. So hey listen, if you like the video, if it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my other videos, feel free to subscribe and if you've got questions or comments or want to let me know how uh, you did this or how it went better, maybe some other tips for other viewers, please leave them down below in the comments. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.